Welcome back for the final chapter. Chapter 11, Back on the Shelf. Mr. Tui was scratching his head. There had been too many unexplained going-ons just recently. Somehow, domestic pest control had fallen off the shelf all on its own, and now a wooden train from the toy box had found its way into the middle of the hallway. The train was full of crumbs of cheese, and when he thought about it, he was sure he had heard strange noises coming from the baseboard. Did he have mice that liked to read books and play with toy trains? He wondered to himself, then chuckled at the silliness of the thought. He headed to the fridge to make something to eat, but when he got to the tub of margarine, right there in the middle were the imprints of two tiny people, arms and legs and heads. Mr. Tui blinked hard in disbelief and headed to the room at the back for a lie down. Maybe he was going crazy after all. In the mouse hole in the baseboard, Pepper Jack sat staring up at the pocket pirate's shelf. The mice had won themselves some tasty cheese, but nonetheless, Pepper Jack was mad that the little pirates had foiled him. He watched as Button raised the pirate flag high. They would never foil him again, Pepper Jack thought with a scowl, and he turned and sloped back into the mice's den. The pocket pirates were sitting around the candle stub. Uncle Noggin rubbed his stomach and gave a great big sigh. Ah, it's nice to be back, he said as he lay back on a bed of cotton wool. What a long day. Jones had a stomach full of fish and was curled up snug and warm under the glow of the candlelight. Button stroked his head and listened to him purr. Let's look at the booty, then, said the captain, and they all emptied their bags and pockets out onto the shelf. Well, well, we've done ourselves proud. That's a fine hoard of treasure if I ever saw one. There was enough cheese to last three weeks, a sack full of fresh biscuit crumbs, a sizable chunk of milk chocolate that had given Captain Crabsticks a bad back, and three pocketfuls of chicken bits, and it didn't stop there. They had a large green olive, a spectacularly meaty corner of pizza, and three whole peanuts. It was a feast! Tally-ho! Get in there, said the captain. What's the matter with you all? We're Duffed, groaned Button. I've eaten far too much cheese, not to mention all the ham. Ham, said Uncle Noggin, sitting upright in surprise. I didn't see any ham. That's because Button ate it before you got to fridge, Lily said with a chuckle. And so the pocket pirates, stuffed and smelling lovely after their baths, headed back into their ship in a bottle and settled down to sleep. Just before Button closed his eyes, he looked over at Lily and she gave him a grin. Who knew what new adventures would await them in the morning?